One of the hardest things to decide on whenever you are diving into photography or if you're already a photographer, you know that the camera bag is one of the toughest things to choose. The reason that I wanted to go with the brevity bag is because it is very inconspicuous and it doesn't just scream, hey, I'm a photographer and I have a ton of gear in here that's worth a lot of money. And that's something that I really appreciate about these types of bags. On top of that, this is a very comfortable bag to carry and it is very cushioned. And also I like the amount of colors that they have. I went with this green because I kind of wear a lot of neutral colors. So I really like this bag. You should definitely check them out. I'm going to show you what I carry for most of the things that I do, such as documentary, portrait, and wedding. So yeah, let's dive right in. So in this first pocket, I have my X-Pro3, which you can access from the side, just like that, which is amazing to me. I really like that uh, you can just grab it really quickly. If you don't know what the X-Pro3 is, you should definitely check it out because it's one of my favorite cameras. It is a rangefinder and it has a hidden screen as well, which is really cool because if you're doing documentary work in another country, and you're being bombarded by people that want to see the photos or if you're doing street photography and somebody asks you if you took their photo and they don't really want you to have it then you can just kind of play it off like it's film so you don't have to even deal with that altercation whatsoever and if you want to you can always delete that photo later if you feel like you should um, so yeah, this is a great camera. I use this for just about everything that I shoot it uh, It's very well built and Fujifilm knows how to make really quality stuff very tactile. So that's the 27 millimeter f2.8, which will be the 40 millimeter equivalent of around 3.2 ish. Um, so then I have the 35 millimeter f2 inside the bag as well. And this is one of the most famous lenses, I would say, by Fujifilm. I think a ton of people have this. It's weather resistant and it's just really nice optics. I have an ND filter on there as well for whenever I do video work, which I do quite often. So I keep that on there and that's just a nice lens for the Fujifilm. The last thing I have for the Fujifilm is actually, if you've watched this channel at all, the 18 millimeter 1.4 is by far my favorite lens that they have ever made because I love the 28 millimeter focal length. My wife also likes the 28 millimeter focal length. So I can give her this camera while we're at weddings and she can shoot with it just as easily as I can and feel very comfortable and confident doing so because it's a very fast, responsive uh, lens. And yeah, the optics on this are incredible. Highly recommend this lens. I shoot this 90% of the time. That's all my Fujifilm stuff. So jumping into the Leica SL, which is a huge camera to fit in such a small bag, but somehow they made it work with this bag. And it just, it's, it really does blow my mind how much space is in such a small bag. So on this, I actually have a 40 millimeter uh, Minolta F2 and it's for the M mount that I have mounted onto the L mount and this is just a really nice lens it's a very quick to focus and it does have a really nice depth of field if that's something you're into the shutter sound is beautiful and the clicks from this lens is also really nice this camera rope strap that I got was from Rimrock Goods his name is Joseph Phillips and he made it custom for me and he does all kinds of leather work. But uh, yeah, he made it exactly 32 inches. I got to pick my color. Yeah, very high quality. 100% the best strap that I've ever had for a camera. It's amazing. I highly recommend checking him out on Instagram. The dude knows his leather work very well. And the fact that he made a camera strap specifically for me was just incredible. So thank you so much, Joseph, for that. Next up, I have the 28 millimeter Zeiss, which is an F2.8. And this is a really nice lens because I do like the 28 millimeter. And if I need to send my wife off with the Fujifilm with its 28 millimeter, I get to use this and it's just a really quick lens and is the focus is just really nice on it too uh so overall the optics on this are really great it has a little vignetting which is understandable it's a wide lens and yeah it's a great lens overall though i really like this lens it's really cool and it fits right in my camera bag very tiny which is awesome up next is the little film camera that i carry with me uh, i i do have several film cameras but this one i really like to carry because it is a point and shoot and it is quality uh, it is shaped really weird but the images that you get out of it are just awesome so definitely recommend if you can find one of these, which you can for inexpensive, uh, I would definitely grab one of those if you ever had the opportunity to. 
The next is the Sony vlog camera. I actually got this for my wife and she doesn't use it that often, but it's nice to have in a pinch. Um, you can shoot S log and everything on this. It's really great. Um, so yeah, this is a, this is a sharp little camera and it's so small. I really like the small rig grip that I have on it. It's very easy to use, uh, user friendly. And yeah, I like this a lot. So cool camera. So all of these cameras fit in this one little compartment and that's more than enough to have for a, a wedding day in my opinion. <laughs> especially for a portrait shoot. I mean, this is overkill 100%. I usually would only need two lenses um, and one camera, but just wanted to show what I would bring to a wedding more than anything. And if I needed to back up cameras for any type of documentary or portrait shoots. And then of course I have all the fun stuff like the SSD, which plugs straight into my iPad that comfortably fits in the top of the bag. I also have a graphic novel that I carry with me. Uh, it varies on what day it is and if I've been reading this one or not. This is Farmhand, really good author and great artist. I recommend jumping into graphic novels because they do teach you a lot about composition, color and everything like that. Very talented artists out there. So next I have the dongle for the SD cards for the iPad and then my phone, which is also a green color, just like this bag, which is really cool. And then I have a light that I carry with me everywhere because you never know when you need a light. And this one has all kinds of features on it that are just really cool and very useful, especially in a pinch if for some reason you don't have a flash or something, which I don't at the moment in this bag, but I definitely have a flash. I carry several batteries with me uh, because why would you not? So I have three extra batteries for the X Pro 3 and all of my SD cards because you need a lot just in case. And I carry them in a little battery container and that's all I really need. Keep it simple, not a big deal. And then I have a ND filter for the 18 millimeter actually, but don't need it right now. So it's in there. And then up top, I have the Nintendo Switch and that's for traveling. Uh, we've been doing a lot of traveling this year, so that's really nice to have. And a couple rolls of film for the Olympus. A rocket blower, always keep your sensor clean. You don't want to have to deal with that later in life whenever you're doing post-production. Your lens cloth is really good to have as well. And then there's another pocket here that has my lav mic, which is actually a lightning port lav mic. So I can directly plug this into my iPhone and use my voice memo to grab that. Uh, so I'll just drop it down my shirt into my pocket and record whatever I need to. So this is really handy, very inexpensive for anybody that needs that. So I have the sensor cleaner and then the solution that goes with that also, which is very important to me. I carry that stuff everywhere. I also carry a notebook to write down ideas, thoughts, poetry, whatever I think of. It's really nice to have this because you never know when you're going to go back in time and think about something that you missed in the past and you can always kind of live those memories through your notebook. And this is just a really cool way of doing that. I love having a notebook. And then of course the USB-C charger for my light and all of my cameras and my iPad. There's a side pocket, which is really nice because you can put a water bottle in it or you can put your tripod in it. Honestly, I feel like this is limitless on what you can do, but I have a multi-tool in there right now because you never know. And then on the back, there is a sleeve for you to put this within your luggage, which is really nice. If you have a rolling bag, you can just stick your luggage right in there. And then there's a side pocket that will easily carry your wallet. Uh, this is also made by the same guy that made my camera strap. Definitely recommend checking that out because really, really good work. Um, yeah, that's everything that I carry. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll leave links to some of this stuff below if you need anything. So yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, until next time. Peace.